Hello guys, welcome back to our next uh, tutorial video. Um, this time I want to show you how to create a player and after the player has been created, how to add valuable data to his player profile. So if you remember from the first video I uploaded to this channel, um, there was an issue with two player profiles not having been created so far it was a player i think from fukushima united and one player uh, from uh, ehime fc um, in j2 league and so i want to show you um, just a little peek behind the curtain on the left side uh, on transfer mark you see uh, the writing is in german because i use a german domain uh, up there but uh, basically it's the same in the English one um, you can uh, create new players you can also create several new players in one form um, but uh, as it's only two players I will uh, just show you now how to do it um, if you remember the player for Ehime FC um, that uh, wasn't uh, there was number 30 uh, Ohara this young guy here. Uh, I open his player profile here. You see he's quite new. He doesn't even have a player picture on the official J League site. Um, we, I think, have a small indicator here um, that this is uh, kind of like a designated player uh, down here. Um, anyway, he's a homegrown player. Um, so he was he, he was uh, allowed to participate on the Hime FC roster via a special designated player status. Um, so what we normally do is then uh, up here you have to uh, say it's a it's a player. Uh, you can also have like uh, like a manager or some other um, like a goalkeeper, trainer or something. Uh, I'm sorry, it's all German now at the moment, but uh, you see, you see the point. There are different type of profiles uh, you can you can add to the to the database, and then we take uh, his name, Motoki Ohara. Uh, there's no uh, how can you say no nickname uh, like for Brazilian players. There's no nickname for this guy, so we add the uh, Japanese uh, citizenship uh, and the ninth. March 2000, uh, mid midfield player, and we assign him to Ehime FC if, uh, as this is the club where his profile is missing for now. Now you have to understand that you don't, uh, are not, you're not allowed to create a player without anybody checking what you're doing there. So I don't write like some bad bad names there. Uh, or whatever so um, there's a second guy who checks what what I'm doing here and uh, on the right hand side you see the uh, list of uh, players that have been recently uh, created you see that uh, there's some players from Hong Kong that were added uh, some German players also some managers as you can see I created a Japanese manager for Tochigi City uh, FC Kanto Soccer League and uh, then you can save this player. I won't do that now because as I uh, just told you there's there's only like a list where this player profile is added and then it has to be released manually by some of the administrators. Um, that in the meanwhile happened so I can show you here that I got a notification that uh, several uh, players were created. Uh, Motoki Ohara is a player that we were looking for and here he is. His basic profile is available now uh, assigned to Ehime FC and therefore we now are in a position where we have to update this player profile and this is uh, kind of an interesting thing for Japanese football because we have to use the uh, kanji name to get information on him. Um, you can already see the first entry on Google is um, from Ehime FC, so we will definitely use that one. But uh, in this case, we have a 21 year old player, so to a certain degree, you might assume that he is affiliated with the university. And uh, just to show you, apart from, which seems to be uh, a Twitter profile as well by this guy, so uh, nice to see you there. 
um, but a very very nice uh, page for student players is always uh, Gekisaka. Gekisaka, I think it's mostly a news portal, but they also have kind of like a database. Um, anyway, man, when you look for the kanji name, uh, and you can always uh, try to add like Gekisaka, and you will have a big chance. You can compare his date of birth here. Uh, it's the same player. So you can have some information on Gekisaka that maybe is not available anywhere else. Um, so this is quite good to use that. Um, so we have Gekisaka here. You see Motoki Ohara, which is also quite nice if you don't have uh, as the first source only the kanji and you have to find out what this is written like. Uh, I sometimes have to do that. Uh, and so what we need to do, uh, I will change to the com domain for an instance to have it more accessible for you guys. So what we have to do now is uh, as a user, or as, an, as a super user as I am, um, you have to go to this, uh, this uh, grind wheel or what, what's it called. Um, you go there, you go to profile correction and then you see it's, it's pretty empty here. Um, so um, in this uh, video I want to show you what we can do here. Um, so Motoki Ohara, it's, it's correct. Basically if, even if I don't know, did a mistake, I named him Obara or uh, Ohata or something. Uh, you can still change that. So this is not like engraved or any anything like that. Uh, so sometimes if you don't have a full name, you can also just like have it abbreviated and then say later, okay, I have found out what the name is. So um, also you may uh, you may um, use uh, that that you say, okay, Motoko, and I don't know what his family name uh, is, is, but uh, I know it's Motoko Motoki O. So I can uh, just like have this as an indication um, that um, I don't know this full name and this pseudonym, this, this nickname kind of, it overrides Motoko, Motoki Unknown. So it will be Motoki O uh, that will be displayed there. Anyway, we know what the name is, um, but we have the name in home country. For Japan, that is quite easy. That's the, where we put in the um, kanji for the name. Uh, basically, if you just like copy it from here, uh, from the internet, like the JLIC site, um, let's see, JLIC site has quite a big space between the family name and the given name. Uh, so if I copy it inside here, it's uh, from, from that source, uh, you see there's this big gap as well. Um, you have the Gikisaka page where the gap is completely missing. So if I would copy that, from um, Gekisaka, there would be no gap in between. So to um, kind of indicate what the different parts of the name is, family name and then first name or given name, uh, we decided to um, have this format where we just add a simple space, so a small space between uh, Ohara and Motoki in this case. So always keep in mind maybe if you copy the name from some source anywhere else, uh, always keep in mind to maybe switch back to your uh, European or American, English, whatever keyboard and add this uh, small space. And there's also a way to add like uh, different names. So if you want to, for example, add Ohara Motoki, then uh, this profile would be found if you look for Ohara Motoki uh, up here. But basically we decided on Transfermarkt um, that we ignore um, those OO or OU um, or OH as a long O um, to keep it more accessible for people worldwide. Uh, we know that, that Ohara, of course, the, the kanji is written like uh, OO, but um, as long as we have kind of like the, the player in the Japanese uh, football sphere, uh, we adapt uh, like this, where we only keep the O there, apart, for example, if there are different kanjis that indicate the name. So, for example, Shoji, we normally would write 
like S-H-O-J-I, but uh, recently there was uh, a player um, who had three kanji uh, that made up the name Shoji, and so um, the, the U was a different kanji, and so we used that um, to indicate that this is a different writing for the name Shoji, not like Gen Shoji. Um, so, th but that's that's just uh, su such a, such a side note, uh, just to that you've heard it now. Um, basically, Ohara here. We have citizenship Japan. Um, second citizenship. Um, to explain it fully, um, we attempt to follow official uh, ruling in Japan, which to that point here says there is no dual citizenship in Japan. Um, I know that's a kind of difficult topic because some players have two passes and uh, if they have so and are willing to contact us about that, uh, for example, uh, Goku to uh, Sakai, Goto Ku Sakai uh, recently asked via his agent to have his German passport added here um, as he said he can uh, yeah, testify that he is both both citizenships um, then we change it here but uh, effectively any player who is hit age 20 I think was it um, we try to remove the second citizenship for example if there was like a Nigerian whatever second citizenship for young player youth player we will have that uh, removed at the age of uh, adultery um, so this information here let's see we have um, here Ehime Ken because we ask for a date of birth we already have it the place of birth is uh, Ehime Ken no city mentioned that's why we decided to have um, Ehime written behind uh, the prefecture written behind a uh, triple minus uh, and uh, at uh, Col what is it? Col colon. Um, so to indicate that the place of birth is unknown, but the prefecture that is important for, uh, let's say, um, like Saitama, Saitama, because it wouldn't indicate that Saitama. If that only said Saitama, it wouldn't indicate if it's Saitama city or Saitama prefecture. So we decided to have this format to implicate that this is the prefecture and the city not known so far. Um, for Tokyo, for example, um, we have the, um, let's say, German writing uh, with an I instead of an Y. Um, basically because uh, it's a German page and it kind of is traditionally written with an I. Um, I think there's a kind of an idea to change it in the future, especially with the many domains, but so far Tokyo is written with an I and we won't change that for now, for example. Uh, but for example, we do not name like, uh, I don't know, Asakusa or whatever. Um, we don't write it here because Asakusa is not like Asakusa Shi, not a city but a part of like Tokyo To, um, which is kind of the city. And so in Tokyo, for example, the district, we write it down uh, Asak Asakusaku. And so like if you hover over this, um, this place of birth, it will mention Asakusaku. That's as a, a simple information how we deal with player profiles from players born in uh, Tokyo. And because we know it's a Hime, we also know that the country of birth is Japan. 